see, one of our biggest problems as a community, right, is we have the problem or the idea that we could turn uh, uh, mere mortals into gods. You feel me? We want to lift somebody up and, 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 and we want that great leader and we want that person so bad to represent us and, and we want somebody to follow so bad that we'll take the average man, you feel me, and put him up on a pedestal and then when he falls short of greatness, you feel me, we are so disappointed. But we set ourselves up for failure by putting a mere mortal, you know what I'm saying, in the position of a god. You dig? It's just like... You know, God's is God, you dig? And yeah, God's live inside of us, you feel me? And we have godly like attributes, you feel me? But we're gonna make mistakes because we are human, you feel me? We are not perfect, you feel me? And to put those, um, to put those standards on a human being, uh, try to hold somebody up to that is unfair, man. You know what I'm talking about? Um, that's why so many of our leaders, you feel me? fall short of of what we're trying to get them to accomplish because we, we put so much pressure on them to be that one you dig and ain't nobody perfect and ain't nobody can make everybody happy not even jesus christ could do that you dig you know what i'm saying it was pure of his heart pure as his heart was as much as he loved his people as much as he tried to do for those around him as much as he sacrificed you feel me it was still people mad at him you dig so we got to support our leaders you feel me we have to, um, you know, uh, um, uplift them when they right and, and, and pull that coattail when they wrong, you dig? Because looking for perfection in a leader, you know what I'm saying, is it, going to always have you disappointed. It's going to always have us falling short of the mark, you dig? But if we mold, if we support, if we um, hold our uh, leaders to a certain standard, then it's definitely possible for us to create something great, something that we could get behind, something that we could support, you feel me? But until then, it, 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 we always going to be disappointed, you feel me? Obama didn't do this. Obama didn't do that. Uh, 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 um, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, Bill Cosby this, Bill Cosby that, Michael Jackson. It's just like, man, listen, man, them is human beings. They're going to make mistakes, you feel me? Especially, it's hard to judge somebody else when you live in sin every single day, but just ain't nobody caught your ass. Or you don't live in a, a big enough uh, bubble, you feel me, that people could see your shortcomings every day like they saw those other people, you feel me? They are held more accountable because they are more successful, you feel me? But it's a lot of us, man, who doing some sick, sneaky grimy, you feel me, unforgivable acts as well, you feel me, it's just that ain't nobody care about us because we ain't famous, you feel me, we ain't nobody, you dig, and I'm not saying that it's okay for people to be uh, pedophiles and this, that, and the other and different shit, man, but it's easy to point the finger and, 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 and judge somebody, you feel me, when you're not being judged, you dig, because if somebody was able to pull up all your discretions and put them on a, uh, on a, on a, on a white screen or a whiteboard, you feel me, pull up all the, uh, uh, um, filthy, uh, uh, disgusted, despicable shit that you have done, you'd probably be ashamed as well. I know I would. I know if they was able to pull the worst out of my memories, you feel me, and put them up on the biggest screen in front of people that I love, you feel me, in front of people that I admire and respect, man, I would be ashamed of myself. I would be ashamed of some of the acts that I have committed in my 38 years on this earth, you feel me, and, I ain't, and I'm not ashamed to admit that, you dig? You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nobody perfect. Everybody think they can point the finger and, and be judgmental. You feel me? Just like you think such and such is a piece of shit. I'm pretty sure if we go down the line farther enough, it's somebody who feel like you ain't as honorable as you portray or put forth. You feel me? It's some folks that feel like you's a piece of shit too, bro. It's some it, it, it's some females that feel like you are not 100 either, boo. You feel me? They feel like you kind of grimy, you kind of shady, you feel me? It's a it's a dude that you have dealt with in the past that you knew he was in a relationship. Even if he told you he was separated. Even if he told you he didn't deal with her no more. Something in the back of your mind, in the back of your heart told you that wasn't true. But you told to take it, his word at face value because you wanted him. You want to deal with him. You want to see what the relationship had to offer. You, in the back of your mind, you thought, well, maybe I could take him away from her all the way, even though... Though I know he's still participating in a relationship to a certain extent. You feel me? We all had those moments where we let our heart, we let our emotions, you feel me, uh, 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 cloud or fog our judgment, you feel me, to where we did something that was more about us than it was about doing the right thing. And you're human. You go make mistakes, man. 
You gonna have moments where you slip up. You gonna have moments where you ain't disciplined. You gonna have moments that you ain't proud of. That's a part of living, man. It's a part of life. But making those same mistakes over and over again. Carrying out the same acts on the same people. Doing the same shit. You understand me? Repetitively. That's what makes you a piece of shit for real. Steady saying I'm sorry, but steady doing the same shit. You dig? It's a cold cycle, man. But, yeah, as far as us finding leaders and choosing leaders, man, listen, man. We got to uplift those who are trying to do the right thing for us. We got to uh, learn how to give credit when people got good intentions. You feel me? We got to be able to speak to people in a manner that's respectful to let them know when they're not doing the right things, when they're uh, not putting the culture first. You feel me? When they're not putting our people's best interests at heart, we got to figure out how to tell them, like, hold up, bro, this ain't good for the people. You feel me? And we got to speak up, man. We have to speak up as a culture, as a, as a community, you feel me? We can't always have an opinion after some shit go wrong. You dig? We could always tell you uh, 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 how you how we feel about somebody when they do some dumb shit or when they fuck up or how we don't want to be attached to them or how they shouldn't have did this and that. But very rarely do we go to a person to give them that heads up or give them some type of guidance or some, um, some direction before they fuck shit up. You dig? We wait and sit back in the cuts and, and high five and clap our hands and then as soon as somebody fuck up, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew he was gonna fuck up. Yeah, well, why you was why you was rooting for him or why you was acting like you was on the support team in the bandwagon when shit was going good? Why would you pretend that you got love for somebody? Why would you pretend that you rooting for somebody? Or really, you just waiting to talk crazy about them when they fail. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We are we, we 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 don't jump on the bandwagon. We created that motherfucker, you dig? You understand me? But we gotta change our perspective. We gotta change how we support each other. We have to change our focus, you dig? And just try to do better, man. And stop putting people up on pedestals, man. We all mere mural, mere uh, mortals. We're all human beings, man. We all have room to uh, improve and get better. And we all gonna make mistakes, big baby. And that's just a fact of life. You dig? K.I., man. Y'all stay focused, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Pure love. You understand me from the from your favorite family member, the voice of the people, man. This is the gray area, you dig? One.